Then I'm going to ask a follow-up question because you touched on, um, you know, free education. But we were talking about poverty and um, one of the problems I see with your plan is it requires computers. So how will you have every student across the country have access to a monitor that they can... I mean, I, I could see it being less expensive if you share a monitor amongst the students, but um, there has to be a facilitator, someone in person. I mean, there, there is no real replacement of a teacher with a monitor. Um, the, the students need flesh and blood instructors. They need someone in front of them who can respond to questions. And you don't want to just teach at them. You want to involve them. So how do you address these issues? Well, any uh, computer educational program that's done with skill, like, for example, Avatar, you don't have to force anyone to watch that. The, the animation and the uh, production quality is so high. And if we taught chemistry that way, you wouldn't have people shrugging mathematics or exponential growth that they understood these concepts. But they need to be packaged in a manner that can be mass-produced so that every student can have access to it. Computers are the best way to do that. They're ubiquitous in our environment, for God's sakes. Everything from your phone is a computer. Uh, your, these laptops and uh, these new notebooks, there are so many different computers around us, and there are companies that are giving away tiny little laptop computers, low cost, to millions of children in third world countries. So, yeah, that's part of the solution, Is but you can also go to a library and find a computer. You don't have to, you can't afford a computer, right. you can go to the local library.